My name is Julie, and I'm the head of the Economic Analysis Section in the Manufacturers Association of Israel. The Manufacturers, Manufacturers Association of Israel, the MAI, is the representative organization of all industrial sectors in Israel, the private, the public, and kibbutz industri industries. We are an independent, self-financed private organization, so Brian's Section 5A does not apply on us, which you mentioned before. <laughs> Um, we represent more than 2,000 industrial companies, uh, which are responsible for more than 95% of industrial production in Israel. One of the main goals of the MAI is to represent the economic position and stance of manufacturers among decision makers, such as government officials, public committees, international organ organizations, and so on. In order to be the voice of the industry, we monitor economic developments in industry using all public data available, mainly Israeli CBS data. We also examine the effect of different government measures or economic events on industrial activity, and we examine the, uh, um, the manufacturer's position regarding these issues. For these purposes, we carry out several statistical activities. The main statistical activity that we use in order to monitor economic developments and to examine future trends is the survey of expectation in industry. This survey is carried out since 1978. If you do the math, it's about 35 years. It's carried among a representative sample of about 700 industrial companies. This survey was among the first to identify changes in industrial growth in recent years and is considered a leading forecasting tool. The survey is conducted once every quarter via, uh, we use a, a, a um, survey system, a computerized survey system, and in addition, we send questionnaires to manufacturers via emails and regular mails. The survey presents actual trends during the last quarter and expected trends for the next quarter according to manufacturers' uh, expectations and assessments. The, the survey examines the large parameters. As you can see here, we, la we examine the industrial output, sales to domestic markets, export, order books, employed person, and so on. And these trends are also analyzed by industrial branch. The survey findings are sent to industrial companies, to the head of the government, the head of the business sector, the public sectors, they're sent to universities, and we use them for research. This diagram presents the summary, just a small, small peek to the survey. What you see here is that the weighted average of industrialist reports regarding their output, their employees, and export shipments. You can see their answers for each quarter. And at the end point, you can see for each one of the parameters, you can see their forecast for the coming quarter. And another uh, statistical activity that we conduct is the survey of, of appreciation effect. This survey examines the effects and consequences of the new Israeli currency appreciation on industrial activity. It's conducted once a year or two years as needed among a comprehensive sample of industrial companies in different branches. The survey exam examines different parameters such as export and import currency distribution. It examines the appreciation impact on sales, on the number of employees, on net profit, and so on. The survey, the survey findings provide us an immediate and clear picture of the appreciation consequences and presented in the relevant forums among decision makers. In this diagram, you can see as well just a summary of the findings. What you see here is the damage caused by depreciation according to manufacturers' reports. You can see the decrease in employees, uh, in employment, in export, in domestic sales, and in the net profit in 2013 and 2014 uh, according to uh, the depreciation scenario. Another survey that we conduct is the survey of transferring activities abroad. In Hebrew, it sounds better. <laughs> the survey examined the increasing phenomenon phenomenon of transferring production lines abroad and its impact on the domestic industry. It also examined the changes in the scope of the phenomenon compared to previous surveys. The survey is conducted every few years among a comprehensive sample of industrial companies and it examines different parameters such as the rate of companies that have overseas, uh, overseas operation, <coughs> which is called offshore, 
uh, the rate of companies that consider transfer transferring production lines abroad. We also examined the reasons for this move and the implication on the move on companies' performance. What you see here is basically the result. We can see that 29% of industrial companies are offshoring, which means that they have overseas production lines. And an additional 23% of industrial companies are planning to transfer their production lines abroad as substitute for manufacturing in Israel or in order to exp expand their activities. Another statistical product is the small and medium enterprise index. This index presents the quarterly trends, both actual and expected, in the small and medium sized industrial enterprises compared to large enterprises. This index was created due to a lack of current official data concerning SME's performance in industry. As we all know, the, the Israeli economy is relatively, is relatively small, so frequently, frequently large companies cover up the trends in the majority of the companies which are SMEs, small and medium-sized. This, so this, this index is based on a comprehensive tendency survey among a, re a representative sample of industrial companies. It composes a weighted average of four selected key indicators which were identified as leading indicators, which are output, employee job, export, and investments. What you see here is basically the development of the index. We see that the index ranges around the 100 point level, which distinguishes between an improvement and deterioration in their activity compared to the previous quarter. And you can see the differences between the SMEs and the large enterprises. Another product is the Multinational Companies Index. This index presents as well the quarterly trends in the, uh, in the multinational companies regarding their activities operation abroad. It's based on a quarterly tendency survey and provides a clear and simple picture of the economic developments in industrial companies abroad. It composes a weighted, of, a weighted average of three selected key indicators, which are output, investment, and employees. And here as well, you can see the development of the index over time. Just the same ranges around the 100 point level. And you can see the deterioration in the multinational activity during the economic crisis. You can see the post-crisis recovery. And you can see that since the beginning of 2012, it's basically, there's basically a stagnation in multinational companies abroad. Another statistical product is the review of uh, difficulty in recruiting professional employees. This review presents each quarter the degree of difficulties in recruiting professional employees in industry. It's based on a quarterly tendency survey and provides a, compari and provides a comparison in the degree of difficulty between industrial branches and also identifies the branches facing the greatest difficulties. This review and the findings of this review are presented to the relevant government officials and assist in targeting measures for solving this issue. In here you can see as well the, the difficulty level. You can see that during the crisis the difficulty level really dropped. It says that 42% of industrial companies reported that they, they encountered difficulties in recruiting professional workers. We saw an increase and you can see that since the beginning of 2012 the, the difficulty level stands around the 77% uh, point. Okay, and the last uh, statistical activity that I will present, of course we have more, but we needed to show just a little bit, is the credit difficulty indicators. These indicators examine the extent to which industrial companies encounter credit difficulties, both in maintaining existing credit lines and in obtaining new credits. It's based on a quarterly tendency survey and enable us to compare the degree of credit difficulties between SMEs and large companies and identify branches facing the greatest difficulty. Of course, the survey findings are presented to the relevant forums and assist us in targeting measures for solving these issues. In this diagram, you can see the difference between the SMEs and the large brands. We see that 60% of SMEs reported they encountered encounter difficulty in maintaining existing credit lines, compared to only 35% of, ma of uh, ma manufacturers reporting so from the large plants. OK, so we saw the statistical activities that uh, the Manufacturers Association does. 
but uh, in the same times we take part in the national statistic system. The MRI representative are members in different professional ICBS committee. We take part in the we took part in the economic and occupation classification, the classification of material and products. We took part in the public council for statistics, and maybe we'll take part again. <laughs> We conduct professional consultation with different organizations, the Israeli CBS, the Bank of Israel, and we, pr practice, we, we participate uh, in international activities and workshops regarding statistical issues. In conclusion, we find that the statistical activities are, essentials, are essential for understanding economic developments, and they are the foundation of research and analysis. They allow us to, lo to locate the needs the difficulties, the obstacles, and the consequences of various events. They help us to target and maximize the solution to these matters. And after said all of this, we are looking forward to strengthening the cooperation between the MII and the Israeli CBS and the Israeli organization that presented here today. Thank you very much. Thank you.